What's up everyone? This is Jeff here with FX Mindshift and today's video in the market maker cycle we are talking about trends, resets, and peaks. Okay, so let's get started. Um, trends. There are two types of trends that we're talking about here um, when we're dealing with the market maker cycle and that is uh, the market maker trend, okay, which is the real trend and also the retail trader trend, okay, so basically what everyone else sees on the charts, right? Um, the trend is set by the market maker, okay? It can be reversed at any time, all right? And the sooner you understand that, it will give you the edge to trade in both directions, okay? Buy or sell, all right? Uh, don't be so biased, right? With, with, a, with a long or short bias that you miss setups, okay? Either way, because um, there's really only one time that you, that you um, shouldn't be trading against the trend, and that's in level one, okay? Uh, level two or level three, uh, you can trade in both directions, okay? There's going to be patterns in both directions and you can take trades in both directions as long as you uh, get proficient enough um, with uh, observing and identifying the patterns and, you know, taking your entries at the right places, okay? Um, that's why in my previous video on the levels, I, I specifically emphasize that knowing the levels is not as important as knowing the pattern okay the behavior and the timing the counts the pushes okay um, of the cycle okay because if you can recognize those at you know the different levels you can trade it in both directions okay as long as you know what you're doing so um, don't get so biased that you miss setups um, you know this is one of the reasons why that happens okay um, okay so the trend on day one this is generally um, what happens so the trend is generally a three-day cycle we know that right it's a three-day cycle it can be more or less we also know that it can be less than three days it can also be uh, more than three days okay but generally as a rule we're, we're, we're talking about a three-day cycle okay three days of rise or drop before the reversal okay and that's the cycle so the day uh, one um, part of the cycle is a reversal day okay or the peak formation high or low that's the start of the cycle okay where you get your peak formation uh you know w or m right um this usually comes as a market surprise okay catching everyone following the traditional indicators and strategies okay i.e the retail traders off guard all right because you know they'll, they'll have many days of, of rise or drop and they'll think that the trend is continuing uh, but then they'll throw in that that uh, you know reversal in there and then everyone will get caught off guard and like oh what happened uh, this this reversed on me okay so um, it comes as a surprise and then also news can be used to justify or falsify okay the market maker actions the market makers will hide behind the news uh, sometimes w with their moves and and justify their moves with the, with uh, with news okay sometimes you'll see like a big spike candle or uh, a big crazy move and they'll and they'll say oh it's because of the news right and that's what that's why it happened you'll see retail traders uh saying that a lot oh because of the news this this uh nfp came out today or fomc came out today that's why this this uh, pair did that no i mean the the the, the whole <laughs> reasoning behind that the market makers plan that move okay the news is all you know bs to cover up uh the moves that they're making okay because they they know how to manipulate the news right um i generally tell everyone to kind of stay away from trading the news okay it's not um a risk worth taking um you know i know people that do trade the news um successfully and uh you know if you're right you can get a big payday uh but if you're wrong you can also blow an account real fast okay so it's really generally not worth the risk i mean i would rather just uh trade normally when the market is stable and conditions aren't aren't uh, volatile. I mean, the news when the news comes out, the spreads can open up uh, crazy amounts, right? I've seen spreads open up to 40, 50 pips, right? Uh, stop losses aren't going to save you on those moves, okay? They're gonna they're gonna hit your stops. They're gonna jump your stop losses, and they're gonna take you out at 40, 50 pips. If you had your stop loss less than that, it won't matter, okay? Um, if you need me to explain that to you, uh, send me a message, and I will in depth in detail. But I won't go into detail on that uh, on this video, all right? But uh, don't trade the news, okay? That's my recommendation, okay? Just, just um, you know, trade the trade the cycle normally when the when the market is stable, or wait till the news blows over and then trade, okay? That's that's the better uh, route to go. Okay, um, day two of the trend, okay? This is where the retail trader trend and the traditional technical strategies will be validated, okay? So this is the only time uh, in the market maker cycle where the market maker trend and the retail trend will uh, line up, okay? And so you'll see like, you know, um, moving averages, uh, technical indicators will cross over, 
um, and the fire signals, right? Like just like the, the 5200 cross, um, you'll see like the RSI uh, cross above the 50, you'll see the CCI or the MACD cross over the zero, uh, you know, stochastic, all, this, all the uh, indicators that the retail trader um, uses will, will give you these signals uh, usually on, on this day when the trend is validated. Okay, so um, this gives the opportunity for the people following the trend, right? The technical traders to hop in this trade, right? To get in and, and ride the, and ride the trend. All right. Uh, majority of retail traders may may still be unsure at this point. Okay, and um, and they're usually waiting for some some kind of uh, further confirmation to, to get into the trade. Okay, um, so that usually happens on day three. And on day three, traders are now convinced that this is the real move. Okay, so now they've seen this thing, you know, drop or they've seen this thing rise for three days straight now. Now that they're convinced, right, <laughs> that this is the real move, now they're, they're getting in. Okay, and what the market makers will do to kind of, uh, you know, facilitate that, they'll show acceleration and separation uh, from the moving averages. They'll also do things with the candles, right? They'll make big spikes, big moves. Okay, it'll make aggressive moves um, to kind of induce people to go the wrong way, right? So they'll kind of induce the buyers to go long, uh, or they'll induce the, the sellers to go short uh, at this point, right? With big fast moves, okay? Um, they'll also use the news to help validate their story or fake you out, right? And just like I said, they'll use the news to, to, to justify their actions, okay? So you gotta be careful uh, of that as well. But the retail traders are seeing this as, you know, more confirmation for them to get into the trade. All right. When they have collected enough contracts at this level, the market makers, they will apply the brakes, okay, and trap everyone, i.e. retail traders, the wrong way. Okay. So when they have enough contracts at this level, okay, they slowly put on the brakes and then they'll whip it right, right back around and, and everyone will, will be back in confusion mode, right? It comes as a big surprise now. We're back to the to the cycle where the reversal is and now everyone's confused. Like I thought this was, you know, gonna continue going up to the moon, right? Um, you know, what happened? So everyone is gonna be trapped the wrong way, but not us, right? Because we know better, okay? <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's take a look at a chart example. Okay, so this is USDJPY, and uh, this just happened last week. So uh, if we take a look here at our uh, peak formation low, okay, you can see our W here to start the cycle. Second leg, well, actually it's the third leg. Okay, three hits to the low. You can see the night the low is has, was not taken out. Uh, beautifully price wall right here. Uh, three hits to the low, um, starting uh, the trend upwards. Okay, so this is our day one of rise. You can see our 1350 cross right here. Now, keep in mind that this this trend was coming down before this, right? It was it was coming down and down, and uh, see these big fast candles here, uh, inducing people to take the short, right? Uh, convincing uh, the traders that this is still going short and that this should be a sell. Okay, so here they pull back again, they pull back again and then they hit it a third time. So they, they're collecting all of these sell contracts and they're hitting the, the pendings down here by opening up the spread down here, okay? And they're collecting all those orders. Once they have enough orders, then boom, they reverse. Come back up here. All these people that are, ta that are taking these sells are in drawdown. Um, stop losses are hit. I mean, maybe some accounts are blown, but now we got our level one rise and, we're, and the market maker gets the hell out of there and uh, reverses on them, okay? So that's the start of the day one cycle. Okay, then we get our pullback and then into our day two. Okay, so what happens on day two? Um, this is the retail trend validation. Okay, so look at this uh, candle here. This big fast candle uh, pushes through this important price level. So I mark this price level as 110. This is a zero zero level. 110 is a very significant price level. Any zero zero price levels is, is an important psychological level. Um, you can see the 5200 crosses here. Once price breaks through this level, you, you know, retail traders are taught, breakout traders are taught, when a price breaks through a significant support level, okay, so this, you can see this was a very strong support level previously, right? When it breaks through a very strong, um, sorry, resistance level, not support. When it breaks through a very strong resistance level, okay, you should be taking those buys, right? So a lot of people probably had pending buy orders here. Um, once they see this candle close above like this, this big strong candle close above, um, a lot of people are taking buys at this point right that's what retail traders are taught so this um is validated right now this is day two of the trend okay this is like i said the, this is the only time where the market maker trend is going to line up with the retail trader trend so you have your uh 5200 cross you have your breakout traders taking buys long you have your retest of this price level okay so you can see it now it bounces off this level 
and, and bounces back up. So what happens now? This resistance level has now become a strong support level, okay? And now more buyers are coming in after this bounce, right? So this is the day two. So now people are seeing the trend, the trend is validated, and more, more uh, uh, traders are hopping in, right? So here we go, so that's day two. Day three, what happens? Now, day three, you see this uh, continuous rise, rise, rise. You have this very strong uh, upward trend, okay? You have this trend line that's, that's not been broken. Um, and everyone's seeing this going up and up and up. And now everyone is convinced that this is the trend, okay? So this is day three. You're all convinced that this is a trend. Everyone's hopping in now, piling in, piling in. And now what does the market maker do? They make big, fast moves. You see this? One, two, three, fast moves to the high, right? breaking through this strong price level, okay, zero, zero, but then pulling back, right? So now there's the first hit. That's the first leg, pulling back, okay? Then slowly, slowly hanging around this level, inducing people to take more buys, take more buys, and then one, one more fast move up to the top, breaking through this zero, zero price level, uh, and then pulling back, okay? And then one more time, three times again, three hits to the high, just like we did down here, at the peak formation low. This is the peak formation high now, and now we have three hits to the high. What are they doing when they're um, breaking through this price level and coming back through? They're trapping these traders long, okay? Long traders are trapped here. The people have their pending buy orders um, set right above uh, this price level because they're taught, just like down here, when the price breaks through that, that strong resistance level, you should be taking those buys, okay? So what do they do? Once the, the orders are, are captured here and here and here, they take it right away from them, okay? They whip it back and, and reverse on them, okay? So you can see a set, a set of railroad tracks here on the third hit, okay? And if we were taking, if for us, right, the people that, are, that have studied this cycle and know what's going on, this is your uh, second leg of the M or third leg, right? Uh, close below 13, RSI confirmation, okay? RSI is below the signal line below the market baseline, nice angle of separation, okay? And you can see it takes off from there, okay? And all these all these traders here that were long are trapped in a huge drawdown or stop losses are hit or, or, or accounts blown, right? But, but we are in very nice profit, no drawdown whatsoever. And if you held this trade uh, from this point of entry, this was a nice 50 pip trade, okay? So this is the exact, the classic example of what happens um, in a market maker trend, okay? So <clears throat> um, I wanna talk about resets and, uh, and peaks, okay? Because um, sometimes what happens is the market makers will need to continue the trend and not reverse directions, okay? Um, and they do that by using resets, okay? So resets are used by the market makers to book profits and continue the retail trend. Okay, so think about this. Um, market makers are, are continuously going in one direction, right? Say buys or sells, and they're just taking the price up and up and up or down and down and down. Okay, they can't continue to do that forever, right? They have to, at some point, book some profits, reverse, book some profits before they can continue um, down and, and continue the trend. Okay, so they do that with a reset, all right? And the reset will, re uh, will represent a new peak formation Okay, and then from there you can expect three more days of rise or drop. Okay, now not always, right? If no one falls for it, there may only be one more level of rise or fall, okay, before they reverse it. Okay, but that's why in some cases there can be uh, four or five levels identified and also why we use stop losses. Okay, so it's very important to, to recognize that. So I'm going to teach you how to recognize that uh, right here. Okay, so let's take a look at a chart example of uh, USDCHF. This is a reset example. Okay, and if you look here on the chart, we have a peak formation low to start the week. All right, well, it says this is actually the middle of the week, but there's a peak formation low. Okay, um, we have our W with our second leg here to start our day one rise, 1350 cross. Okay, into a pullback, then day two of rise with a little bit of pullback, 521 cross into level three, and then we have our peak right here, right? Our M formation three hits to the high before they reverse and take it down, okay? But uh, I want you to observe what happens at this level, okay? So now what we're, what we're expecting is we're expecting another three levels to drop right here, okay? But that doesn't happen. What happens is they hold this level, okay, and actually come back up, okay? And when they come back up and breach this uh, previous level high, 
that's when you know that it's a reset and it's a confirmed reset. Okay, so take a look at the structure, okay? And uh, a giveaway will be that the level one rise from the reset will be on, will be about approximately the same distance of the of the level three drop. Okay, so you can see this drop and this rise is about the same distance, and then it uh, kind of breaks through that structure, right? So this would be a confirmed reset because it has uh, broken above this previous high, and then you can expect on that on the following day, okay, you can expect another level of rise. So you can see here a stop on low and then a rise, okay? So one, two, three into our peak M, okay? And this is where our second leg is into the drop, and then this is where they uh, finally take it down and reverse, okay? So that's an example of a reset. If you, if you take a look and you see that the structure is broken, the previous um, high is broken, and they continue upwards, you can expect them to continue upwards from that point. All right, so um, here's how you can basically uh, you know tell if it's confirmed reset and non-confirmed reset um, a little bit better. So uh, confirmed reset is like I said, take a look at the structure. If it has broken the previous high, okay, and it's continuing upwards, this is a confirmed reset, okay. And uh, 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 conversely, on the way down, if it has broken the structure on the way down the low, then it's a confirmed reset. But a non-confirmed reset will not take out that high, right? It'll come back and it'll just be, this will continue um, into like a, a multi-session M or a multi-session W, okay? But it will not take out that high. So that's how you can basically uh, tell if it's a confirmed or non-confirmed reset. And I'll show you another example here uh, on this chart, confirmed versus unconfirmed. And uh, this is uh, over the course of a, of, of a few weeks, okay? So this is an H1 chart. So each of these uh, lines denotes um, starting and ending of a week, okay? So you can see we have our peak formation high starting here, okay? Our M structure, okay, reverses into one, two, three levels of drop, okay? Into our W, second leg, and then reverse. But from here, okay, we're expecting it to give us another two levels of rise before the reversal, but it doesn't. It comes down here, gives us one, two, and on the third drop, it takes out this low, okay? At that point, this becomes a confirmed reset, okay, for this cycle, and then you can expect another one, two, three levels of drop, okay, before the reversal here, all right? And then uh, when it comes back down to this point right here, uh, it does not take out this low, okay? So it drops back down to this low, but it does not take it out. This is an unconfirmed reset and a multi-session W, okay? You can see that across, uh, you know, this week into this week. So this becomes a multi-session W, and you can see from here, this is where it reverses back up. This is your level three, and this is where it reverses back up into uh, level one, two, and three from there. Okay, so hopefully that's a little bit uh, clear on resets, if you guys can uh, see that on the charts. Um, it's It might be, um, you know, difficult for you to, to kind of uh, to see these, you know, during live markets. But I encourage you guys to go back uh, through the charts and see if you can, um, you know, identify them, you know, in past uh, weeks, you know. Just go through the charts and try to see uh, through the candles if you can identify resets, uh, confirmed and unconfirmed. And, uh, you know, then it'll, it'll help you in the live markets. You know, it's, it's tough to see it in the live markets because you don't really know until the structure is broken, right? So, and then after the structure is broken, you have to see if it continues down or up uh, because sometimes they can do some weird stuff. So, um, but if you see a confirmed reset and you know it's a conf confirmed reset, then the following day, you can anticipate, okay, that it will continue in the direction of the trend, okay? So that will help you to find better entries on your trades and also determine where you are in the cycle. All right. Okay. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was, uh, you know, informative, uh, you know, plug into our telegram channel. If you have any questions on this video or anything else that I cover, okay. Any of the material that I cover, um, please reach out to me at Jeff X trader on telegram. Okay. And, um, or just leave a comment on the YouTube video. I, I uh, will respond to that as well. Okay, guys. Uh, appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching. Please like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.